Hello, my name is Yub Damor and welcome to Data Frame. So in this video, I am gonna share with you guys how you can find similarity between two sentence. Okay, so let's get started. So suppose we have three sentence and we want to find similarity between those sentence. Okay, and our first sentence is this is cat. Our second sentence is the cat is fat and our third sentence is I need car. Okay, so first we will take uh, first two sentence and compare it. So over here you can see that in first sentence we are talking about cat and in second sentence we are also talking about cat. So we can say that uh, these two sentence are similar. Okay, now if we take uh, another sentence uh, over here, you can see that in third sentence we are talking about car, and in second sentence we are talking about cat. So we can say that these two sentences are not similar at all. Now, if we take uh, these two combination, then we can say that these two sentences are also not similar now as a human we can easily understand that in this sentence we are talking about cat in this sentence we are also talking about cat and in this sentence we are talking about car okay but a computer cannot understand like this okay so computer only understand the numerical data okay so we have to somehow convert this sentence into numerical form okay so that computer can easily understand the if there is similarity between those those two sentences or not okay so our first step is to convert this sentence into numerical form okay so first we will follow the bag of word approach so in bag of word approach, we will take all the unique word present in this sentence. Okay. So first we will break all this sentence into words. So this is first word, second, third. Okay. And then we will take unique word from this. Like here you can see is is present over here and over here. So we will take only one is and cat is also present so we will take one cat okay so now if i clear this and first we will take all unicode from first sentence then here here we are not taking the cat and is because it is already present over here okay and then we are taking this okay so now the next step is to convert this sentence into numerical form okay so for that what we have to do first we have to check this word okay in this sentence if this word is present in this sentence or not if it is present we can put one over here okay then we have to check this word okay so is present in this sentence so we will put one then cat is also present in this sentence so we will put one then the is not present in this sentence so here we will put zero okay and all other will be zero this is how we can represent this sentence into numerical form uh, for sentence two uh, this word is not present in sentence two so we will put zero over here then is present in this sentence so we will put one over here okay this is how we can fill this uh, table okay so now if we want to see the similarity okay so first we will take sentence one and two okay for that we have to uh, check this similarity representation of that sentence so over here if 
द करस्पॉन्डिंग न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू इज इक्वल ओके सो हियर वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट वी चेक फॉर ओनली वन ओके नॉट फॉर जीरो इफ देर इज जीरो एंड जीरो दैट मीन्स दिज टू वर्ड आर नॉट सिमिलर एट ऑल ओके ओके सो ओवर हियर इफ वी एनकाउंटर वन एंड वन देन वी कैन से दैट दिस टू सेंटेंस आर सिमिलर ओके इफ वी टेक अनदर टू सेंटेंस ओके टू एंड थ्री देन हियर टू एंड थ्री सो इफ वी चेक जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो 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 सो देर इज नो कॉमन पेयर इन दिस सेंटेंस सो वी कैन से दैट दिस टू सेंटेंस आर नॉट सिमिलर एट ऑल सो दिस इज वेरी बेसिक मैथड ओके एंड देर इज सम ड्रॉबैक ऑफ दिस मैथड ओके दैट आई विल डिस्कस विथ वन एग्जाम्पल so first i will uh, these are new three sentence okay and i will fill this table so here the first sentence is this is cat and second sentence is the dog is fat okay in first sentence we are talking about cat in second sentence we are talking about dog so these two sentence are not similar but our method is saying that these two sentence are similar okay so why because of stop word so now the next question what is stop word so this is the is this all are stop words so uh, the stop word doesn't add any information about sentence okay over here you can see that the doesn't add any information about this sentence okay so we have to take care of this stop words okay so this is a uh, one drawback of this method so even if these two sentence are not similar our method is saying that these two sentence are similar so to overcome this issue uh, there is one another method which is known as tfidf term frequency into inverse document frequency i will explain that method in next video so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video feel free to like this video if you like it share it if you found it value and i will see you guys in the next video all right bye bye